Hi there, and welcome to Cash Crowdfunding Presentation by yours truly, S. Frank Stringham, or anybody who knows me by my username on this platform, Stringham718. <laughs> okay, let's get going. Nine words. These are the only nine words you ever need to know to get someone interested in this platform. Who do you know who needs a financial blessing? And the thing is, is that someone always knows someone who needs a financial blessing, whether it's a neighbor, whether it's a family member, or even if it's themselves, which is really interesting because a lot of times I've had people say, can I count me as one of those people? Yes, of course. And these are some of the reasons why they may need a financial blessing. They need to catch up on car payments or pay off student loans. Maybe they're ready to retire or pay off a house. Perhaps they need just to take a long needed family vacation. Maybe they want to get out of that devastating credit card debt. Maybe they need to pay off some insurance. Insurance gets crazy expensive. Medical, dental, life, home, car insurance, etc. It's, it's, there's so much insurance out there. Maybe they need to pay back doctor dentist bills, hospital bills, etc. Maybe they need college money for the kids, funeral costs for someone who's passed away. Maybe they just need to get away, get around. <laughs> Whether that's a car, boat, motorcycle, moped, skateboard, roller skates, you know, etc. Maybe they want to take care of their parents. Maybe they want to invest in the stock market. Perhaps they want to get a small business off the ground or even turn a hobby into a business. Whatever it is, most people need financial, a blessing, a financial blessing. So just remember those nine words. With that being said, have you ever heard of crowdfunding? Crowdfunding is something that's been around for a few years now, and it's gaining more and more popularity, and that's what we're talking about. Crowdfunding, if you haven't heard of it, is a verb. <laughs> It means to fund a project or a venture by raising money from a large number of people who each contribute a relatively small amount, typically via the internet. Now, uh, when we're talking about this, you may have heard of some of these different crowdfunding companies like Kickstarter or GoFundMe. These are actually businesses online that they, they help people fund their projects, but because they're a business, they also charge fees. And you can see all those fees. <laughs> Look at this. I think this is hilarious. This Rocket Hub right here, if you don't succeed, they charge the fees. Isn't that crazy? I think that's crazy. Anyway, so there are a bunch of different crowdfunding platforms out there, and that's it's, it's something that's getting more and more popular. With that being said, let me give you a little bit of a history of, of crowdfunding. But first of all, we are called Cash Crowdfunding, and we are very excited about this platform because there are no fees involved. There's, this is not a business. This is not the lottery. This is not something where you're going to get rich overnight but there is a way for you to perhaps make a lot of money. Okay, now on to the history. In 2012, President Obama passed the Jobs Act, which is Jumpstart Our Business Startups, which allowed crowdfunding to be 100% legal. It was often a little bit questionable in the legality way to help fund businesses, especially startup businesses, but he passed the Jobs Act and now crowdfunding is 100% legal. At about the same time, uh, Pastor Derek Foster and his wife Evangelist Vanessa Foster started cash crowdfunding. They had been praying for a way to help other pastors and their congregations get more money. Eventually, they didn't just want to help other congregations, but they wanted to help anybody who needed the help. And that's how cash crowdfunding got started. 
Now, how does it work? First, you should know that there are nine levels at which you can fund a project. Since this is crowdfunding, that's what you're going to be doing, funding a project. The nine levels are 25, 50, 100, 250, 500, 1,000, 2,000, 5,000, and $10,000. To be a member of this platform, it's going to you're going to have to have your own back office, which takes about, not about, it takes a $12 cash donation. And by the way, that includes lifetime support. On top of that, then you fund your first project and everybody starts at the $25 level. As a result, you are at the beginning putting out $37. And guess what? Out of your pocket, that's all the money you will ever, 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 ever put out of your pocket. So $37. <clears throat> and it's all done with wheels. Woohoo! Look at that wheel. <laughs> How fun is that? Okay. This is a $25 wheel, and you'll notice that there's already a couple of places that are already, uh, they've already got names in there. And so these, these two people have already signed up. Now these people that, that are on the orange, the yellow and the green circle wheels, circles, have already been out here on the red circle. And I'll explain that in just a second. But what we're going to do is we are going to make it so that you now are going to be on the wheel. So there you are at the top. You're going to take $25 and send it into Tom. Tom's in the middle of your wheel, so you're going to be sending him $25. That's the $25 that I was telling you about earlier. You pay $12 to get your back office, and then this is the $25 out of pocket that you send to Tom, and that's it. So then you're going to find that other people are going to be getting on that circle all the way around. Tom is going to get eight people who are going to be sending him $25 each. As a result, that's $200. Pretty amazing, huh? Now, when you notice that the the bottom half of the wheel is, is taken out, then you are going to be going to a new wheel, and this is what's going to happen. Betty's going to the middle. Sue and Bob are now on the yellow circle. You, look at you. You just moved into the orange circle. <laughs> and guess what? It gets even more exciting because as soon as that top part of the circle is filled out, what's going to happen is that it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter to you. It matters to Betty whether or not it matters to Betty whether or not these people are signed up. But it doesn't matter to you because as soon as this top half, top half is filled in, then guess what? you are going to start a whole new circle. You don't need all eight places to be filled to start a new circle. You just need to the top half, unless you're in the bottom half. And then when that happens, then Sue goes in the middle. Sue and Pete and you, oh, look where you just moved to. <laughs> I'll tell you, when that happens to you, it gets so exciting. And guess what? It happens again. As soon as that's filled, new circle. Now you're in the middle and these other people are all around you. We th These people have already paid their $25 to whoever was in the middle. Now it's your turn to have people send you money. So this is a $25 wheel. You're in the middle and look what happens. Tom sends you 25. Ken, here's all these people on the outer circle who are gonna be sending you $25 a piece. And look how that adds up. 125, 150, 175 and look at that final number so eight people have sent you $200 this has happened to me I've received $200 cash in the mail that's $200 now we have a thing called the follow your sponsor system meaning when you receive your first $50 contact your sponsor to be placed on his or her $50 wheel then do the same thing for the hundred 250 and up take the first three payments donations that you receive in the mail and the first one is going to the first two are going to be fifty dollars you should with those start a fifty dollar wheel and you see uh, where you are right there uh, again at the top <laughs> that was a big circle anyway and then after that take 
25 the third donation and start a $25 wheel and you see ah oh, on this one you might see that there you are you're down at the bottom it didn't circle again very well. Now let me try that again. There you go. And so now you're on two wheels. You're on a $25 wheel and a $50 wheel. But uh, before we really get into that, guess what that means? The total that you've received now, any after that, is $125 that goes into your pocket. Let me say that again. It goes into your pocket. How much did you spend out of pocket? $37. Already now you have $125 and you have already taken part of that $200 and started a $50 wheel and a $25 wheel again. <laughs> How exciting is that? Wait, okay, so there's your $125. Next. Uh, next, you're going to be moving up on that $25 wheel and then you have $200 that people have sent you. And guess what? The same thing happens on the $50 wheel. But with that, 50 times 8 is $400. So now you've got $600. Woo -hoo -hoo. With that $600, we tell you what? Don't spend it all at once. Take the first, uh, take the first two payments, and uh, first four payments, let's say, uh, five, uh, however many, <laughs> however much you're getting from those two wheels. Start a $100 wheel start a $50 wheel and start a new $25 wheel. Okay. So with that, with those two wheels that you had before where you got $600, you get to keep $425 of that. The rest of it, you're putting into three more wheels. Now those wheels add up 25, 50, 100, 250, 500, 1,000, 2,000, 5,000, 10,000. And those add up. I mean, when you are in the middle of the $10,000 circle and eight people are sending you $10,000 each, that's 80,000 from just that wheel. Oh, wait a minute. So let's do some math, shall we? All right. So here's what we're going to do. You've already seen that uh, on the first wheel, you're going to get $200 and then you're going to, with that, put the 75 into a $50 wheel and a $25 wheel. So you get to keep $125. Da, da, da. All right. Now, after three wheels, we stop before at the $100 level. Look how much you get when $100, those three wheels pay off. $1,400, which means you get, if, if you uh, put the money from that into a $250 wheel, another $100 wheel, another $50 wheel, and another $25 wheel, that's $450. So then of that, you're keeping $950. Sweet! All right, as you, as, you, as, it, as you go down and there's more and more wheels, you'll see there at the bottom that on the 10th, on the ninth wheel, there's only nine wheels, all right, nine levels. There's, there you're getting $151,400 from, that's from all nine wheels. With that, you're putting out $18,950. And with that, that means you get to keep of, this is just those 10 wheels. But if you're adding all these up, you get 282,600, you put out 54,400 and you get to keep for yourself Two, well, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna mm -mm -mm, emphasize, emphasize $228,200 in your pocket. That's in your pocket. That's all yours. You get to keep that. And how much did you, uh, how much did you put out? $37 out of pocket. That's all. Okay. With that, you might be saying, well, so what's the catch? What are the rules and the guidelines? Here's what the rules and guidelines are. No promises, assurances, or guarantees should be made under any circumstances, no exceptions. That You may have noticed that I, I have never said, I promise that you will make six figures within a year, yeah, or, you know, if, if ever, you know, but you can't do that. That makes it illegal. That means that you're promising something 
that might not happen. It might not happen. So you cannot make any promises, assurances, or guarantees. All right, two, no spamming. You should go to people who you've met. You can't just throw it up and out there on the internet. You, you really should know the people who you're talking to. Respect the time frame, and when I say that, just so you know, when you sign up, you will be put on a wheel immediately, but then you have eight days only to send the $12 to get your back office and the $25 to the person who's on the center of your wheel. So that's part of the time frame. Also, if you're put on a different wheel, you need to send the money as soon as possible. That's the time frame, and just respect that. You can only have one account, no refunds, absolutely. <laughs> Once you get your back office, you have your back office. They're not going to send back $12. So because it's not really a business, it's just it's a way for you to run your platform. Respect your sponsor. If I am your sponsor, I want you to respect me. I know what I'm doing. I've been doing this for a while. Now there are some sponsors out there who might not know what they're doing, but respect them anyway, because if they, if you have questions of them, you can ask them. And if they don't know, they can ask me. I have been doing this for a few months now, and I put a lot of study and research into this. So I know pretty much what's going on. Respect me and I will help you as much as I can, because it's not about me. It's about helping you. Follow the rules to participate. These are the rules. You must be 18 or over to participate. You need to be a United States citizen and you have to have a U.S. address. When President Obama passed the uh, Jobs Act, he passed it in America, not in Europe or Australia or China. So. You ha this is uh, in the United States only. And in order to do higher levels, like if you want to be put on a wheel that's $250, you must have at least referred two people, which isn't difficult because when people start seeing that you're getting money in your mailbox, they're gonna say, how do I do that? I wanna do this. I wanna be just like you. I wanna have money in my hand and in my bank account and in my mailbox. So by the time you're to the higher levels, you'll have two referrals at least anyway. With that being said, I want to ask you now, do you really want to help others financially? If so, get started now. Now I want to, to tell you that if you're done watching, you can be done watching, that's the presentation. But if you are ready to sign up, then I am going to, for the next few minutes, going to show you how to sign up. How to sign up. First of all, on your computer, type in the web address, www.cashcrowdfund.com. When you do, this page will come up. The, the part in the little red circle with the arrow, that doesn't come up. I'm just showing you with that what to do next. <laughs> okay, just so you know. So, in order for you to sign up, click on the words join now. Don't click on login because you're not a member yet. And so you need to sign up first. So join now. After you do that, this page will come up. Now, this is oftentimes where some people get confused. Enter the username of the person who invited you. Whoever your sponsor is, find out what their username is and put that there. If you're one of the people that I'm sponsoring, my username is Stringham718. And it's all lowercase, lowercase, S-T-R-I-N-G-H-A-M. And then 718 is my birthday. So it's my last name and my birthday. If you're confused as to what your username should be, it, it could be anything. Uh, but for me, uh, that's my username. <laughs> okay then click on verify so if make sure this is your sponsor next now it's time to put a, a username for you now this is the the important thing use only lowercase letters and numbers don't do slashes or dashes or asterisks just letters and numbers and lowercase letters is better we've had times where people tried to 
use uppercase letters or use slashes or underscores, whatever, it didn't work. So just use letters and numbers and that can be your desired username. Then click on verify. Next, you, this is where you actually do all the real signing up. You're going to put your first name. Next to that is your last name. Underneath your first name, you'll put your phone number. And next to that, you'll put your email address. Then your password. Now, with your password, you can use upper uh, uh, uppercase letters and you can use slashes and dashes and underscores but just not on your username so your password can be anything you want I think it has to be over four or six uh, figures long or digits long but other than that whatever you need to have as your password that's for your password now also I have been with people who had their password and then five minutes later they had forgotten what it was and they couldn't even log in because they didn't remember what their password was. So either write it down or make sure that it's a password that you can know and remember and never forget. Then under that, your street address. Under the street address, that's just for if you have an apartment number. Underneath that, the city, state, and zip code, and then push submit. After you've done that, go back to www.cashcrowdfund.com and this time, don't push the join now button, this time push the login button. And what's gonna happen? Now is when you can put in your username that you just created yourself and your password that you just created for yourself and press login. When you do that, that's gonna take you to your lovely back office. Now this is just part of the, the back office. If you scroll down, there's a, even a lot more. And when you scroll down, that's also where you will see what wheels you're on and people who you have already uh, already signed up yourself, but you wouldn't have when you first get your this. Okay, anyway, so I'm telling you that. I'm, I'm looking at this here. What I want you to do, see this right here? Click on that. That's gonna take you to a page where you put what your why is. What is it that you want money for? This is the page that will show up when you click on that. You just write in there what your why is. Here I'm putting, I want to pay for my kids' education. Make sure that you put a money amount in there. How much will it cost for your children's education? I decided to put $60,000. Who knows nowadays how much a good education is. Then you click submit and it'll say your story has been updated and you're done. You can close out that tab. After that, just click out of your back office and what you're going to do is you're going to, oh, by the way, this is your back office. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Okay, then what you're gonna do, you are going to call or email your sponsor and tell them that you have your username. Tell them what your username is. Then they will go to their back office and they're the ones who are going to be putting your name on a wheel. So have them put your name on a wheel, have them do it right away. And when you do that, you are on your way to being an amazing cash crowd funder. That's what I call myself. I'm a cash crowd funder. <laughs> At this point, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can email me or text me. I might put all that information, but don't call me. I don't answer. I don't answer the phone if I don't recognize the number. So if you text me, that's when I learn who you are. But if you call me, I won't answer. Or you can, if you have questions, comments, or concerns, of course, you can call your sponsor. And if they don't know the answer, they can call me or text me, or they probably can call me because I already have them in my, in my phone bank. <laughs> All right, with that being said, that's it for now. I hope you're as excited about this as I am. I've already received a lot of money in the mail and it's exciting and I will, talk to you soon and I will see you at the top. Bye.